Hey guys, and today I'm going to be showing you how to improve performance on Minecraft PC 1.8 and 1.8.1. So as you probably know, when they released 1.8 and 1.8.1, the performance from 1.7.10 to 1.8 just sucked. Well, 1.7.10 was good, but 1.8 and beyond, which is only 1.8.1 after that, just absolutely sucks. I don't really know why. It just does. So I'm going to be showing you how to improve that a little bit, especially for people who have a dual core or higher computer, which, I mean, it's basically 2015 now. So I'm going to assume that most of you have at least a dual core processor in your computer. But if you don't, you're not going to notice a whole lot. But it, most of you probably do. So this is going to help quite a bit. So first off, I'm going to show you a few different steps you can take. The last one is going to be the most you know noticeable on those dual core and beyond people. But the first one I'm going to be showing you is just allocating more RAM to Minecraft. Uh, it's just a simple thing you can do here. So it says JVM arguments, and it says dash XMX, and then you put in the amount of RAM here. So the G stands for gigabytes, and then you put in the RAM that you want it to allocate for it. And you have to put it in depending on how much RAM you have. So this computer's got four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of RAM in it, so I put four. You know. My other computer's got 32, and I just put, you know, 8, because it's never going to use more than 8. It's never going to use more than 4, but you can put whatever you want in there. So if you have more than 12 gigabytes of RAM in your computer, just set it to 8. You're going to be fine. So I set this one to 4, just half of what it has. I could probably set it to 6, and I'd be okay, but play it in the safe here. I'm putting it at 4. So let's just go open it up and see what my frame rate is. Now my frame rate's probably going to suck because I'm running this with uh, Bandicam recording my screen. Whoops. Uh, and Bandicam's more of a desktop recorder, not so much of a game recorder. So my frame rate's probably not going to be anything special. It's probably going to suck. So let's see here. 30, 30 frames a second walking around here. 44, 40. Uh, and this is maxed out, I believe. Let me look under my options here. Which is where I was kind of going because for the most part you're not going to want to you know you know lower your settings any or anything, but these are the settings you probably should be looking at right now. Graphics set to fancy, smooth lighting you can probably set to maximum that kind of stuff. All of those options there you can turn mitmap levels down if you want. All of those options there are going to just be okay. Make sure you have VBOS on though. That one will uh, improve your performance. But the one that kills people the most with frame rates and stuff is the render distance. So a lot of people think, oh, I want to run it at 32 chunks. Bad idea. One, 32 chunks isn't good. You know, if you go way up in the sky, yeah, you're going to notice it. But when you're walking around it like what you do in Minecraft, you're never going to notice it. And it's an absolute killer for performance. For example, I've got my other computer. I've got a R9 290X graphics card in there, very powerful card, and an Intel Core i7-4790K, another powerful component and that struggles at 32 chunks and that's very high performance components there and that struggles at 32 chunks because one it's not needed and two it's just an absolute performance killer and minecraft is not optimized all that well anyways so 16 chunks i would say at most 12 is still going to be just fine but everything else, you know, you can probably have on. If you're still getting a little bit lower frame rate, the things that are probably going to kill you the most are entity shadows. And make sure you have V-Sync off. It's not really needed either. And either smooth lighting and particles, those are also going to do it pretty pretty much. So if you just do this here, like decreased and minimum, it's still going to look fine. But you know, hopefully we can all run like that. Whoops. VBOS on. So now the next one is probably a mod that you've heard of. A lot of people like it, and that is Optifine. If you want to download it, there's a link in the description. I'll have uh, two links there, one for 1.8 and one for 1.8.1. Uh, I wouldn't recommend getting from their website because most of the, those ones on their website are crashing it right now. So go in the links, go look at the links in the description. Those are the ones that seem to be working at this point. And if you don't know how to install mods to Minecraft 1.8 and 1.8.1, links also in the description to my video where I go over how to do that. So once you have the mod, just plop it in your mods folder. And let's go ahead and open up Minecraft one more time. Let's go over to the Forge profile, load it up here. 
and this is the one that's going to utilize more cores. So this computer I've got here has got an AMD FX 8320, eight core processor in it, and this one definitely, definitely sees a much bigger, you know, frame rate jump uh, from you know the standard version of Minecraft and then the modded version because when this uh, tweak here, if you go to performance, you want to make sure you have fast render turned on. That is going to just make your performance so much better. If you have, you know, four cores at least, you're going to just notice it because generally it's using one core to do all the work. And especially on a processor like this where just one of the cores is fairly weak, but when they're all working together, they do good. But one core on this thing is just weak, so that's what kills this thing more than anything. But when you have all the core, all the cores working together, that's when the performance really really jumps up now like i said i'm recording so my frame rate blows but uh, basically i tested this before trying or yeah before recording and before i was getting about 45 to 50 frames a second uh, on you know without optifine and the, ch uh, the chunks at about 16 or so and when i applied optifine i was getting you know 110 to 120 frames <clears throat> excuse me 110 to 120 frames per second which that's a noticeable difference, and that is just because of the multi-core rendering that it uses with this mod. So that's how you import, improve performance on Minecraft. If you have any questions, or you, you know, if you don't understand something, just leave a comment down below, and I'll do my best to respond to it. And I hope to see you guys all in the next video. Thanks for watching.